up everybody? We're here in the Zacharias P. Lobish Art Adventure Channel Workshop. This is it. This is where I do all my woodworking. I build my frames to paint on and various other things here. So this is my new boat hole I'm working on. This is the asymmetrical Proa style Polynesian sailing canoe. It's my new one. And then over here is the other one. This one worked out real well. It's all put away for now, but that was a win. I'll get back to that. Uh, I have a new pet. This little lizard is chilling. I give him water. I need to give him some food, but that's my new wintertime pet there. Hand tools. Kind of messy, but really has everything I need. And then my newest project is the rooftop camper, which is insulated. That will fold out up on the top of the roof of a car. There's my tiny house. And a couple boats and surfboards and whatnot. There he is. Go back. I think you're gonna try to jump. Okay. There you there you are. Oh. Alright, I'll let you chill there. Planes and screwdrivers, scissors, all kinds of scissors and sandpaper, glue and a saw. And then uh, I put up this cool painting. I don't know who did it, but I like it. Kind of clean looking, inspirational. That's where I want to be at, wherever that is. So I'll get there on this thing somehow. I do all the paintings for the most part, unless I'm painting on site, which I do often. But this is my newest piece. It's big. It's eight feet wide. East coast in the morning is that golden golden color, backlit, down in Florida. Fresh water, real clear water, it's a real cool kayak spot. And this one I did a few years ago with the beach house and some waves. So yeah, that's the artwork in this room. And I think every artist has a room or area with a bunch of unfinished artwork. It's stacks of paintings, finished and unfinished. I'm always Trying to come up with something to paint. This one's a, kind of a cool, it's gonna be a lightning storm. I haven't really done much on that in years. And of course the Bikini Babe. And a few more of those up there. I've done a couple of those with different colors. I think that was the original intended painting. And I think that was a test piece. I almost like the test piece better with all the messy colors. Um, but that's a print that I made of an original. These are some paintings I did in California by the coast of my hometown, San Diego. I would usually paint on site on the cliff and sell paintings as the day would go on. I would sell one or two a day, best case scenario. Worked out well. This is a eucalyptus forest that was cut down because it was not native. Uh, kind of a bummer, but people I think wanted it out. Had some more paintings on the cliff. San Diego. 
Pack it in. Pack it out. Pack out all trash. Thank you. And this was a walkway in Florida. Famous break, I won't say where, but there you go. This is my newest painting. I'm pretty excited about this. Started it last year and I put some more work into it. Ride that wave all day. That's a surfboard I made about 10, 12 years ago. Airbrushed. Here goes a spray paint piece I was working on. It's got the beach babe, and this is a structure that made it through some hurricanes in Florida. I took some photos because I liked it. The fact it was kind of skeleton-like. Kind of a darker piece. That's the bounty that sunk off of North Carolina a few years back. The captain took it out in the Hurricane Sandy and uh, lost the ship. This I painted on site in Florida, another kayak spot. And that's Cape Hatteras Lighthouse Wave. Very hollow, really dangerous actually. That's a, a legit challenging surf wave. It sucks you out right along these jagged metal things and then you hit this really shallow bar and then you float out past the break and try to sneak in as long as the current's not pushing too fast. But that was that video I posted last of surfing that wave. Man, what a challenging wave that is. One has a conch shell in it. Kind of light color scheme. This is an easel I designed and built strictly to be very light. I used the most minimal amount of wood possible. This is less than a one by two. In the back here, it's, I don't know, three quarters of an inch by a half inch. And I painted in the desert with this in California. I did some pieces in the desert. With this, and it held up pretty good with the wind. Um, this piece of rope holds everything together. There's a lot to it, but uh, it's based on rope tension. Everything goes, makes a triangle. Worked out real well. And this is how I lived in the desert for five months. These are some pieces I did out in the dry desert of California. I'm having fun with these different sizes and um, dimension. Dimensions as far as the different hulls corresponding to each other. She's always having a good time. Kind of a partial smile. Um, this is the boat I'm building in the garage right now. So uh, to scale. The sail might be a little bit bigger, but that will be real in a couple months, hopefully. And this is a little bit bigger one, some different dimensions. And then this other one I'm working on, this is a 
a little more complicated, but it's got a little seat. We'll get to that later. So that's the sailboat uh, work area. Custom stool in the house. Painted that. I wanted it to look cool. There it is. Lifeguard of the year. Me. It's not drivable at the moment. The ancient sailing craft I'm designing and building. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And the garage. I got the garage set up. I'm using. Um, my car is broken down, so I'm trying to get a new car. I use new car, but I've got somebody looking at the car I have now to buy it. And I do have a lot of money saved from working for the past five years, basically, at a regular job. So, fingers crossed, sell the car, get a new car, put the rooftop camper on, and go for some adventuring. All right, thanks a lot. See you. And just in case somebody wants to act up, that's the Samurai Sword. Craigslist, 25 bucks. I don't know why I bought that, but there it is.